Hey guys, and welcome to the Vancouver B-Movie Factory. I'm the creator, Jimmy Stewart, and this is uh, the first time it's been televised. This is great. We've been doing this for a year, and I wanted to share this with you guys. So come watch us create a B-Movie. Welcome to another meeting. Hello. Hey, Jimmy. All right. All right, David, introduce yourself. Sure, my name's David. I'm gonna be the writer for the evening, and uh, my favorite color is orange. Awesome. I'm Wilson. I'm in charge of talent and casting. My favorite color is blue. Uh, I'm Will. I'm the director. My favorite color is purple. Purple. Excellent choice. I'm Sean Farquhar and uh, uh, I'm the current world champion of magic. Uh, <clears throat> And I'll just be giving some weird ideas. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and as you already know, I'm uh, Jimmy Stewart, and uh, this is the Vancouver B-Movie Factory. So guys, we start like we always do. Where are we gonna shoot? Anybody have any In ideas? In a park. In a park? Well, Sean here is our ins inspiration, so let's listen to what he has to say about what he can do to inspire us. I like magic, in case you didn't notice. And, and I'd love to incorporate in some way and inspire you to go in that direction. Um, I sat down last night thinking to myself, what are the three best questions always asked of me? And they're generally the same three questions. And the first is, how did you do it? We're not gonna do anything where we expose magic. Second is, can you make my wife disappear? Which seems very popular. And the third is, are you allowed to gamble in Vegas? Or I wouldn't wanna gamble with you. And I love this one, because my standard response when people say, you know, uh, are you allowed to gamble in Vegas is, yeah, of course I am. They only ban the people they catch. So I was thinking <laughs> a poker it? game. Poker Can game. you imagine mm -hmm. a poker game? Now you've got five very unique characters, and one of them you could make into a magician. So it's like a poker game with a magician. So that throughout it, everybody is trying to play a legitimate game, and all the intrigue that goes with it as he cheats. Uh, cards change in their hands. He hypnotizes people into losing hands. Uh, things go awry with the stuff that's happening. Mm -hmm. Better in a kind of a, a smoky, darker kind of situation, which allows you not to have as much lighting mm -hmm. because it's kind mm -hmm. of in that kind of mm -hmm. overhead light, people leaning into a table. All you need is a green cloth over top of the table because it's mm -hmm. a backroom poker game with boys. Yep. If it was in a theater, you could literally do it in I the like backstage that. dressing room area. It's before the show is going to start and it's a bunch of characters from a show, so it could be a wild variety show. You got the juggler, yeah. the knife thrower, and the magician who keeps cheating. I like that idea. Right? <laughs> All in a backstage area. Yeah, because hmm. like, see, you, like you said, you do a magic trick, but instead of him expecting something to happen, something totally random and weird would happen, like an Indian appears behind him or something. Or... So then we start adding actors and adding other characters into mm. the back of the movie, and, or like the girl, Trying the daggers. Appears. Taking it sort of as soon as you said magic against each other, I was only thinking a single magician mm. in the game. But what if it was an entire table full of magicians playing, playing a game poker? Of poker. <laughs> <laughs> and they were using their magic tricks against you can, each other. Now you can see guys, you know, with a hand of five cards yeah. smiling because they got four aces and a king. Yeah. And, and then they kind of pan over and they got four aces and a king. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, right? And yeah. so then when the guy yeah. starts slaying him down, they got four aces and a king. The other guy's like, oh. And you see him pass his yeah. hand. Mine's a royal flush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because you'd have Let's, to have one guy over the top with a massive costume. Oh, of course. Yeah, there you see you got the turban, the whole thing yeah. with the bad mustache, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you'd say, okay, let's set down the ground rules. Before you say they're magicians, you just see these weird eclectic characters and they go, before we, st we begin, yeah, let's yeah, set yeah. down the ground rules, no cheating. Or at no least if you cheat, ladies. you're not allowed to be caught. Mm. And no allowed using the black stuff, okay? And they're like, yeah, yeah no black magic. And that's the first word of magic, right? Yeah, Comes in. Yeah, yeah. You go, okay, as long as we all stick to just sleight of hand. And of course, as it progresses, they all turn to black magic. And you start getting the creatures <laughs> and the troll dragging that person away. And that sort of <laughs> yeah. Somebody going looking for a card. <laughs> exactly. 
So now it's five guys playing poker, all magic. Yeah, we're going to have to do something if the other people aren't magicians. Oh, yeah, yeah but make them. The I, who, I've, you know, I've spent yeah, my yeah. life creating magic tricks okay. as a technical yeah. advisor for films Excellent. that other people do. I'm okay. very rarely yeah. saw, seen in front of the camera. I make other people look like magicians. So Sounds creating great. gags <laughs> that, that I can do simple stuff like. Uh, That's a good idea. This is cool. Uh, this, this, I think any person in their right mind, I don't know if the camera can see that, but if you look, I got a hand that's what, uh, a two, a three, a two, an ace, and a king, right? And literally like this, if I just kind of do that like twice around, when I open them up again, now I've got uh, four aces and a king. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's yep. rudimentary enough that anybody can do that. So done in a POV over the shoulder, mm. you can have the guy look at his cards yeah. and go, those are bad, turn them three times and then spread them out and have a nice beautiful hand and we it can, happens in real we practical. We could put in and we could hmm? use your hands all the time. Oh yeah, but you can, this can be I done. I know how to do that too. <laughs> look, I'm going to give these to you. I want you to spread them like this towards the camera. Go ahead. Just Hold to, them? Yeah, spread them towards the camera so they can see them. And yeah, I'll close them up. End for end. And one more turn. One more. Yeah, and spread again. And you can see how they just turned into four aces <laughs> and a king. See, you just did that. Why do we have to use my hands? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> that would work on my other job. I don't believe it. <laughs> That's good, huh? So things like that can be incorporated. Yeah. Uh, lots awesome. of little That'd tiny odd ideas. The characters are going to be the costumes. Yeah, so, totally. So, so we need Your five different one costumes. With the, the turban? Yeah. So I, 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 used to have a, I used to have a fez. I don't, I don't know if I can still fez find it. Fez is perfect. Do we need, Tommy do we need five magicians? Yeah. You need the, you need like the Chris maybe. Angel looking guy, you know, with all you the know, chains hanging around his neck. Oh, yeah. Can we do five magicians? Yeah. yeah. You can easily get five characters that all are magicians. Yeah. Okay, we could even have, a, well, to get, to get more actors in, you could even have the magicians actually change. Yes. You know, the, Same the, costume, you know, different face. Yeah, exactly. Stop morphing yeah. on me. Yeah, yeah. That's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. 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 Get, just one guy is constantly changing. Yeah, yeah. Watch no. what I can do, guys. So Boom. you make the Turns one guy turn into the attractive looking lady. Yeah, yeah. It's like, stop oh, distracting right. me. That's right. right. That's <laughs> perfect. Yeah. You keep distracting me, having her like in some sort of like slinky little gown. Yeah. We'll go that's one it. new guy. The big then. break. One new guy. And the rest of them are. They've been coming for years to this thing. You know. You've got to be one of the magicians then, right? Sure. Yes. Or technical. I don't have to be on camera. Your choice. If you think that there's others, I'm fine with it. I just say it would be crazy not to have them on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay? I do weird <laughs> things like... <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You can, do you want to be the... <laughs> Daphne, well, Daphne, you got to fix this guy. All right, He's man. not feeling well. Green balls are just coming out. <laughs> you want to hold my balls? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've actually made a, a film before I re sit around a poker table and it can okay. get very static you know it's hard to just keep atmosphere and energy and the whole thing changing all the time with the magic I think that's where you'll get the difference is that Especially, it's unique something a unique yeah. something then it's a little bit of dialogue and unique that. something and whatever you imagine up when you're writing <clears throat> I'll make something happen yep. but I can give you lots of gags to start you down the sure. road of going oh yeah. what can you do you know like you know, you can blow a poker chip out of the nose or put Are it into your nose. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, how to change them all, all those little gags. That's what magicians do. It's Looking like, cards. here, hold out your hand. Just, just hold it. If I put the cards in your hand, place your other hand on top to trap the cards in between so they can't get away. Did you feel me take all the cards? I did not. You didn't. So if I told you I had cards, would you believe me? I don't know. You don't have cards. Take a look <laughs> in your hand. What do you got there? <laughs> well, show them. Show everybody. <laughs> it's a you block of glass. <laughs> See, that's what we do. Yeah. So to switch it would be, be the logical thing. Here, you shuffle, and the guy goes, shuffle what? Right? That okay. kind of, so if I had a hand, and I was thrilled with my hand, and I close it up, and I kept my hand on the hand like that, yeah, I guess I'd go in. And then the, he makes the mistake. He lifts up his hand, and he takes off the watch, and then puts his hand back on the cards. And you get a POV that allows him to see his hand leave the cards. Mm -hmm. And that you could have the sage, the friend who goes, says, I'll tell you right from the start, once you got your hand, don't let go of it. Don't let it out of your Yeah, side. yeah, exactly. So it exactly. gives that little foreshadow. Exactly. So now yeah. he's got that, and he puts his hand on it. Yeah, I'll bet you. Tosses in the chips. Tosses in more. Puts his elbow on while he pushes in. He keeps doing this. And they go and say, well, how about the watch? He goes, the watch? Yeah, sure. And he takes yeah. it off. And then, boom. And now you've got that hit. And you have a, now that it's not like we just did film magic, even though that's what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah. We've given them a reason and a moment where they switched. Yeah. And of course, you know, you see that little, and it could be that great moment. Well, we just saw the crowning <laughs> moment there, right? He says, yes, and it we could, did. It could be that moment when he goes, says, your soul, boom, and he goes, says, and I have the royal flesh. How do you have a royal flesh? I have, 
I have I have nothing. And he <laughs> just looks up and you yeah, and you, nothing. Yeah. Zero 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 zero. <laughs> yeah. And this, yeah, you see that little tear yeah. drop uh, and they cut to the commentators going, Ah, the old take off the watch gang. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Saw right? so that coming. Yeah. yeah. And then bam. That exactly. always gets the newbies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do we yeah. get? All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll take this to the group tomorrow and uh, get some more ideas and hone it down. So we'll see everybody a little bit later. Hey, and if you stay with us, we'll meet up with the group at the Dealey Motorcycle Exhibition. When I heard of the new exhibit called Cycles and Cinema, I knew it would be a perfect place for the Vancouver B-Movie Factory to meet up here at the Dealey Motorcycle Exhibition. I could not have picked a better place for the Vancouver B-Movie Factory members to meet. <laughs> It was so easy to communicate ideas and even to show them. Sean started the ball rolling by coming up with some more great ideas. Soon everybody was into it and the ideas just kept on flowing. Now it's time to make these ideas a reality. Okay, the meeting just ended. Tons of great ideas. Sean was amazing. Problem is, I think there's gonna be too much ideas. Normally, a two to three page script is what we need. They came up with a seven page script. I don't know if they're gonna be able to get it all done on shoot day. Well, let's see what happens. It's shoot day. The gang members all got together at Port Coquitlam's Second Story Theater to shoot Satan's Magic Poker Slam. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, magicians and charlatans, ghosts and ghouls, and especially you YouTubers, to the Satan's Annual Poker Slam. And action! I am alive! The location was fantastic, and all seemed to be having a good time. Hey, West Side. I know he's not showing it, but Will is having a blast. <laughs> time for our star's arrival. People waiting in the wings. <laughs> and action. Another card, please, Mr. M. Done. Perfect. Okay, it's been a long day. They've been at it for six hours. Let's take a look at where they're at now. Remember, a typical Vancouver B Movie Factory movie only takes four hours to shoot. They're already at six. Action. And action. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a wrap. There's only one thing left for you to do is stick around in. What? Ready in five.
And welcome back to the studio. You remember our uh, panel here, that's uh, David, Wilson, and Will. And our guest inspirer here is Sean Farquhar. Sean, is it true that you have won more awards than any other magician? That's the rumor. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's, that's amazing. I don't know. It just means <laughs> I'm competitive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to know, and I think everybody else would like to know, how could they find out where you were performing next? Uh, my website. I've got a calendar on my website, magicchampion.com, 1C, M-A-G-I-C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N.com. I couldn't afford both consonants. <laughs> you pay by the letter, don't you? Mm -hmm. No, you don't. I got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> I think i got to write that down. Thanks. <laughs> magicchampion.com. It's like magic and mushroom. If you're French, champion. <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, I'm excited about seeing this movie. How about you guys? Stoked. I can't wait. Anticipation Absolutely. beyond. I wish I brought popcorn though. Yeah, uh, that would have been a good idea. Next one. Right. Next one. Yeah, okay. come on. Well, Mike, are you ready to roll this? Excellent. All right, let's do this. Roll it. Pretentious, short little man. Shh. Who's that? What an intern. Who are you? Mendrick arrives. Ghosts and Ghouls, to Satan's Annual Poker Slam, brought to you by me, Satan. With me tonight, I have last year's challengers, Wu Ling Yu and Harry Kane. Wu Ling, how do you feel today? It's great to be back. Uh, I should have won my slam, uh, but I have to tell him I saw your hand. I'm glad to see your hand on the And you, Harry, you have your hand on it? Have you? I find being sober helps. I don't. One word of advice, never take your hands off the cards. Drink? Excuse me, folks. Do you mind? Hit me. Not me, you idiot. <laughs> Another card, please, Mr. M. Pour me a drink and deal me a card. That's a brave move. I'll just take one. Welcome back. Hey, I'm the host here. My money's on Mandrake. Quiet, you'll lose your head again. Well, Slam! Hey, that's my line. <laughs> I fold. You can't fold. Oh, no, no, no. I, I got a good hand. No, I'm not folding it. Oh, no, please. Oh, I got a good hand. 
I'm all in. I'll raise you some more. We oh good. Yeah. It's getting hot in here. It's all going up in flames today, just the way I like it. I'm all in. Well, that won't cover my bed. How about the shirt off your back? I'll not have a naked man on my shirt. Fix that. Beautiful. Your shirt was worthless. How about I raise you a wand? Father's watch. Haven't you figured it out yet, boy? We're playing for souls. Cat's out of the bag now, boy. I call. Show me your hand. No. No! Yes! No! Good job, guys. Good job. Yes. Uh, yes. What did you guys think? It was good. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Great. <laughs> I liked how they switched uh, my character's uh, shirt off and then onto that was quick and fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. You John? know, when we were doing the shooting and you were saying, you know, uh, we're going to green screen that, we'll special effect that, I kept going, yeah, sure we will. And it all worked. It all looked great. It's, yeah. you know. And that, that Ma Maharaj building, I didn't. Even that's awesome. And then how you came in was cool. With the Taj Mahal, yeah. And, and the little, uh, the, I liked when we were filming, uh, when you had the idea of getting, the, well, you called it a torch, the flashlight, and getting down low to create the shadow up onto the eyes. So because the way the hat was, I was like, oh, what a cool idea. Because there was this guy shining a flashlight in my face to create the evil. <laughs> he was just to annoy you, though. Yeah, is that what I was saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it really read well yeah. on the camera. It's, That's uh, all, you know. Well, yeah. when you guys started this, you guys went from, I suggested you only do a three-page script. You guys blew that right out of the water and went to <laughs> seven to eight-page script. We didn't want to, to do, we wanted to do a three-page script, but well, just sometimes I, I also the ideas, we just kept coming and just kept, kept flowing. Yeah, well, you know. I also said it had to be a three-minute long video. <laughs> You guys went and Blame blew the that right out Blame of the water. The for that, okay? <laughs> but, but, but it's engaging from the start to the end. Yes, I yeah. know the, the rule on you know, YouTube is a viral video is three minutes or less. Oh, but, that's not the reason why. But, but that's, people are going to watch that yep. all the way through, 100%. Uh, all in all, you actually got it done because normally we have a four-hour shoot. You guys hit eight hours. But <laughs> it was all done. Well, you know, and, yeah. and you guys put a lot of work into mm -hmm. it. Well, and the folks at Second Story Theatre were really cool and cooperative yeah, for let us go so far. Yeah, yeah Graham Myers, nice guy. Yeah, because yeah. when you really think about it, you know, from when we got in to when we left, that there was a long period of time and a lot of people jammed into a room. Yeah, yeah. it was. He yeah. did a great it's job. Hard going. It's yeah. Hard going. Well, yeah. we are running short of time because the film was so long. <laughs> so I would like to thank the panel for doing such a great job.
and also Sean for coming out and being an incredible inspiration for thank us. Thank you this so week. much for having yeah, thanks me. Thanks for coming sure. out. Yeah, awesome. thank you. I also want to thank the people who went to the website and and donated what they could to help us make movie magic happen. And also to all the Vancouver Bee Movie Factory members that came to our website and every week create a new film for over a year now. It's unbelievable. It really is teamwork that makes this dream work. Thanks for watching and have a good night. And we can still talk, guys. That's cool. <laughs> it really was good.